Hey guys, I'm back. Now, today, I'm going to teach you how to wacky rig. Now, I know... Sorry, wait, give me a sec. Okay, I know wacky rig's been coming up, but I've caught in my biggest bass wacky rig. I mean, I love it. It's the best way to fish. I'm, I'm going into last year... Texas rigging. I let's say I was fishing out on the, fishing. Sorry, fishing on my tournaments. Soon as fall hit, or soon as the end of the year last year, wacky, wacky, wacky. I learned it from some. I learned it from um. Jojo bars thirty three, that boy fishing on the hockey river smallmouth, beast. Um, but I'm gonna teach you the steps on how I wacky rig and everything that you guys need to know how to wacky rig. So. First, the hell did my hooks go? Hooks go. Whack. Um. This is really embarrassing. Oh. Dumbass. Okay. Ah. Shit. Balls. Uh. So first, I'm gonna show you is what I usually use. So my wacky rig setups I use for like little panfish, I'll use these little uh Berkeley little like twenty thingies. Uh sorry I don't know their name, that's really embarrassing. But my favorite way to whack my favorite uh bait is the Yum F two Dinger. Favorite way. I hate Senkos. I no offense Gary Yanamoto. I love all your baits like your um like your crankbait sears, love them. Senkos, um, I'm not a big fan. You got rid of my, my favorite color too. That uh, if that's the only color, you have the best. If you get back these three inches, I will l literally marry you, for for figuratively. Um, but this is this is my favorite way. It's the uh, yum or it's the yum F2 dinger. This is the blue flock color. It's a four inch. Mm -hmm. I have it in a four inch. Um, another four inch this is my favorite color, watermelon pearl. And blue flux my second favorite color. And this way for big for big boys, it's like this swirl bass color. Uh, I like it. You can Texas rig this or wacky rig it. And then I have like the the white pearl color for early morning or late afternoon and evening. And then I also have the little XPS. I had these on my uh, spinning combo. My new spinning combo, but um, the way I do it is uh, my favorite hook to use is for small small fish. I'll usually throw a gamagatsu one. Gotta throw gamis. You just gotta throw them. Gamis or troll cars, maybe VMCs, but v I'm not a big big fan of VMC, but I do like their their new four inch offset. So. If you see, this is how I do it. I know some people, they put it, you see the slot? I think you guys can see the slot. You put the hook, you get your hook. You also can do it before, you can buy O-rings. This is so you don't, but I mean, my uncle gives me like a thousand of them. So I mean, <laughs> and I buy them a lot. So I mean, I don't really have to run out of problems. Plus, with my luck, they stay on. I can catch like ten fish on one before it falls off. Sometimes if I'm lucky enough when they get to the boat or the canoe, they fall off, I can put my arm down and grab them. And they're really durable. To me, they're really durable. But so you rather put it in any of this as I do. I usually put it in any of the slot. My way to do it, I'm going to show you my way. I know there's other ways. So put it right closest to the end of the slot in the middle. Go down and up. And you should get something and something that looks like that. And this is what that's literally what it does. At the bottom. Now, some people when they throw it, they'll just like, they'll just Texas rig it kind of. They go boom, 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 boom. But I like the boom, 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 boom. Makes more vibration. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I I mean I I've done this before, like like a Patrick thing, but I also like do 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 do. Bring it in so like I cast it out and I bring it in like this. Hopefully this is good. Or it, it's better in water, trust me. But I like. 
look like this, but sideways. And there's a lot of vibration. And the way you know how to catch, and the way you know when you have hooked one, sorry, um, is the way you know is you'll see your line jump. Kind of like when you're text trigging or something. You can look at your line. You see a jump, I'll usually wait. I'll count a couple. I'll go one, two, and then set the hook. By then, the the fish got it, and sometimes they'll set the hook for themselves. They'll rather run straight out. All you have to do is just a little, and they're already hooked on. But I usually just do it just in case. Um, uh, I'll post some of the pictures of my biggest bass that I've caught on this, uh, or my big bass, or my yeah, all my biggest bass that I've caught. Uh, my biggest bass is four pounds two ounces. Uh, should have been like a six or seven pounder, but he was mad skinny. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll post the pictures on that. Also, I will, and also, when you're wacky rigging, you, you, you gotta take it slow. Like, I'll throw it out and I'll go jerk, jerk, one, just count slowly or just do, do, do. That's how you do it. And where you want to throw it, sometimes you can throw it, I throw it basically anywhere. But my favorite areas to throw it, probably rather I'm when I'm close to shore, like from zero to ten feet of water, I'll throw it. Uh, when I caught my big bass, it was in a foot of water. Bluegill were getting moved, I just threw it before it hit the water. I also caught a bunch of, I've caught some nice sized bass on like six inches of water. They'll come up out of the water, boom, and just suck it in. But you got, you can't just suck it in, boom. You have to kind of, it's kind of like a jig. You have to foom, foom. You, you don't have to put, sometimes you don't have to put a lot of backbone in. But, and you also want to give the fish time when you're fighting. You don't want to, something, most of the time, unless you're fishing heavy stuff, you're throwing it on spinning gear. I've seen some people do it, like Denny Brar, throw it on, excuse me, bait casting equipment. But, um, best way is spinning. Uh, and it's a good, I liked, what I'll usually do is in the early morning, blue fleck at night, blue fleck. During the day, usually the blue fleck usually starts to stop off. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes blue fleck works all the time. And that's a lot of times. But usually I'll go blue fleck morning, the brighter colors at, uh, in the middle of the day, and brighter and everything that I want to throw at night. That's usually how I do it. Um, you can throw it on a shaky, you can throw it on a weighted hook, you can throw it anywhere, but, um, like I know Denny Brar sometimes throws it on a, on a, a shaky head, or something like this, like a small little jig head, or, and even people drop shot it. I saw one show on the Outdoor Channel, where they were catching five pound smallies and drop shot, have it wacky rigged, works just fine. So, thanks for watching guys, uh. Comment, rate, and subscribe. More videos will be coming your way.